What is up, everybody? Uh, we're back here with our episode 2 of our Total Warhammer Let's Play. We are going to be starting off with getting rid of our menace to the east, which is Skeggy. Um, what I'm thinking about here is we'll probably just raise it, just because we won't be able to get the full province. And since these, uh, the, these um, settlers here, the new colony settlers or whatever they're called, um, are friendly with us. We might want to use them as a buffer against the enemies to the south, like these orcs, uh, other rival lizardmen factions, and most likely skaven factions in these ruins. So we'll probably keep them around, so we'll probably just destroy this and burn it to the ground, and then we'll move up north. So let's... Uh, but, um, before we before we get this uh, completely started, just remember, uh, leave a like, and if you enjoy and all that stuff. Also, if you want any special names for these guys, just because I can uh, customize their names. So, if you have any special names, just leave them down in the comment. I don't care what they are, just leave them down there. Um, so I think we'll probably do another round of building up, just so... Actually, we'll do a round of ending turn. And then this next turn, we will uh, build up our forces a bit. Alrighty. Should we be done first? Some pirates. We shouldn't be worried about those, though. They don't come on land. Uh, Alright. Oh, we got plus 500. That'll be nice. Alright, actually. What do we need here? Uh, search any ruined settlement for treasure. Well, we're going to be doing that soon with this guy. Uh, let's get some... Ooh, how much longer do we have to wait for... Oh, we haven't really started that yet. Alright, well, I think what we'll do then is just... Oh, it's tough. It's tough. Maybe we'll just start raiding them? Yeah, let's start raiding them. We don't have raid. I forgot that this, uh, this group does... This, uh, they don't have rating. So we'll just fortify and we will recruit. Oh, we can't recruit any units. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, how many? How many do they have? They have nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 15, 16, 17, 18. We, we have. Sorry. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, okay. We have about the same. They have one extra. You know what? Fucking. We're gonna go in. Hopefully we'll win this. I mean, it's in our favor, because we have more numbers, and they have a lot of these horsemen, which will get butchered once their infantry is gone. So, uh, yeah, let's let's just get into the... Oh, yes, what does this one do? Um, plus six weapon damage. That's really nice. We'll give that to our temple guard, just to make... The, or no, we'll give it to one of our sor elite Soros warriors with a gold chevron. And uh, let's uh, get into battle here. So uh, yeah, and if you want to leave any comment, like constructive criticism, or just, you know, some of the day is going, whatever, I don't care, I'll answer them, I'll look at them. Um, but yeah, any constructive criticism, I am just starting out, so it'd be nice uh, to get some criticism in. Nothing like me, don't say, oh, I hate you, for some reason, but just, you know, you know what I mean. This will be tough, it looks like they have very defensible positions, but it's the AI, so they probably won't use them to their advantage, possibly. If they do, then this will be a tough battle, especially with their uh, reinforcements, because they will have more, but we do have that Bastillet on, which is nice, and we do have Temple Guard, which are very elite units. Uh, we're going to gamble with that. Let's see if we can get some more magic. Oof, that's a, that's a blow right there. Okay, so we'll just kind of head over this way, kind of really try to focus down this area right here. So we're just going to have a long, well, let's move two of our spearmen onto each side. Just so if those horsemen try to charge in, they should, we'll have a trouble each time. We're just going to make a huge line, huge front line that will just kind of move forward as a group. And then on each side, we'll have some skinks, just in case, again, if those horses decide to come on around and 
annoy us. We got something to handle it. Move this guy off to the side since he has trouble shooting over people. And we're moving the moon. Uh, we're going over here. We're on here. All right, that's well, these guys are on two different sides. So that looks pretty good. All right, uh, let's move these guys up. Ooh, they're moving up towards us. Look at this line of soldiers. Absolutely formidable right here. This is terrifying. I would be freaking out. We got their horsemen coming in. They're, uh, we'll send these skinks over here to harass them. Also start shooting this guy with our big dude. Ooh, it looks like they're not coming to engage us. So actually, since I'm not really afraid of the horsemen at, at all, we're gonna move these guys up crap ton and just ignore them kinda and I want them to run you need to get a move on I don't want you guys getting hammered like you already kinda are and Mazda Mundi you move up with them so, oop, they're getting caught out they're getting caught out which is not good for them they're not good at this fighting thing I don't know why they're coming around there. Are they going to try to flank me? Maybe, but I mean, I'm just going to head for the... This, I guess. So actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to send these guys here to kind of block them off. And then I can send the rest of these guys in. Really hit them. We'll send these guys up here. We'll send these three over here as well. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to... I don't know, it looks like they're going to be coming out to trying to do a thing where they come out around and come behind us, but I'm alright with that actually. Because by the time they get there, I will have captured the, the capital. The, the capital point. And I guess we'll move these guys, I guess, over here to kind of slow them down too, just in case. Um, but it doesn't look good for them. They move their army into a weird, weird spot. So, like, it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> Looks like they're going to get fucked. Mazda Mundi, don't chase them. Uh, actually, Mazda Mundi, come up here. Alright, looks like they're starting to pull back, so it doesn't look like they're going to be following doing that now. Looks like they're realizing the error of their ways. Um, Alrighty. So our guys are moving in nice and good, nice and good. Uh, let's get these guys to come over this way, kind of... I know these guys are getting hammered, but... And what I think the AI is doing, it's like, okay, we gotta divide our forces, but it's really just letting me come up here and go for the this point right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send... These two units and hold off right here. And then these guys just get up here, I guess. I mean, just capture the point. 
because for some reason they just left it wide open. And Mazda Mundi, you can join them actually. But yeah, we're completely cutting them off. Like they basically left the city to us. I mean, they're really not doing a good job of defending. They're doing a good job of you know keeping us that side of them, but they're you know not using the city or anything to their advantage. So this might be a really boring battle. Because I mean, their horsemen came out, and that was kind of cool. I mean, it was that was a? I thought they were going to be aggressive there, but it turns out not. It turns out they're actually just not doing anything. So I guess we, I mean, yeah, we'll just keep these guys here just in case they do start moving forward or anything. But yeah, I'm just gonna do this, kind of form up, form ranks right here. Uh, horsemen coming from behind. Then, Move these two right here. I mean, yeah, you can shoot at them, but they're not going to be able to kill any of them. I mean, they're all really strong. See, and now what it happens is they run out of ammo, and then they have to go hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is not good for them. Also, I think I'm going to turn down some of the sound real quick, so forgive me for a second. Sound, uh, speech, we'll turn that down. Effects, we'll turn that down. Music, we can have a little bit up. Earn Master, we'll turn to like right about there. Alright. Alright, cool. Um, shoot this guy. These guys are moving out. You know, they're tired. I mean, yeah, they're... Oh, no, they're, they're just... Oh, they're winded. Yeah, they're going to be tired, of course, but... I mean, they're going up hills and shit, and they've run a long way, but... Yeah, we, we've won this. I mean, they're, they've not, they're not moving to protect the capital. So I think I'm just going to speed this up. So we can get our guys in there and see... You know, if they start moving and shit, we'll, of course, change up, but it doesn't look like they are. We've beaten their cavalry. Oh, now they're moving. They're like, oh, crap. <laughs> they're going for our capital. I think. I don't know. Why are they just shifting around? I actually don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like they're coming after these guys. The farthest they can go away from this area. So I guess we'll get these guys behind them just to reinforce. Get this guy to shoot him. So they're coming after this dude. They're not really paying any attention to the fact that we're about to capture their capital and, you know, win by default. Like, I don't know, I don't know what the AI was doing. It was bugging out or something. I mean, I did use a mod to make this really nice map, but it's never really bugged out this bad. I mean, it's never really just completely disregarded the... No, oh, that's a that's a bug. <laughs> no, just just magical floating hammocks. Just magical floating hammocks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're gonna be attacking these guys. Cool, but it's not really gonna do much. I mean, I'll engage them. But we have captured that so oh shit see normally in total war games that means you win i guess not anymore so move these guys here to reinforce we'll send these guys here these guys here and then we'll take these two warriors and send them here See, that's a bit weird. Normally when you capture the settlements, like, uh, victory point. Yeah, it's called a victory point for a reason. Hmm. Oh, it just gives you battle with you. Oh, okay. Well, now that no more you know. The more you know. So, but we got at least your bonus. But, I mean, we should still... Oof. We're taking serious hits right here. Let them to get your ass down here. Alright, so this front is holding, which is what I needed to do now, because apparently in older Total War games that did mean victory. Apparently not anymore, so good to know. 
we'll put these guys right here. Form up right here. These guys are coming. This guy. I want you guys to go for this guy. Alright, they're fleeing. Which is not good. These guys are dead already. Let's send these guys in. This guy is fire upon someone. These guys just run on in. These guys move in. I mean, we're in a not we're in a bad position. I mean, the the I did not expect that to be a non victory point. So uh, they basically caught us with our hands down. Is pretty much how it went. Go this way. You guys hit them this way. You guys form up right here. Oh. I guess it just needed a longer time, I guess? I don't know. But, uh, okay. Well, I'm just gonna end it there, then. Huh. That was buggy a bit. <laughs> it took us way longer for it to be like, yo, you won, by the way. You got the victory point. That's 271 losses. Well, probably 200 losses we could have gone gone without or 20 choices yeah, about 100 losses that could have been done without by the looks of thing yeah geez all right well we're just going to uh we're gonna sack it and then please tell me we still have movement range yes and then we're going to we can't do anything this turn okay well that kind of sucks can we recruit anyone no Okay, we're just gonna sit here and next turn we will raise it. Uh, can we go anything hexawatt or yes, we can get more growth. Awesome. Anything else? Do, 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 do. Not anything that I want or need. So alright, new technology. Uh, additional tradable resources. We're not trading with anyone. So we'll get this right now because we will be recruiting some higher tier skins soon. Uh, the, speaking of trade goods, let's look at diplomacy. Uh, the Tlax, Tlaxtlan, Tlaxtlan? Uh, ooh, another handsome, handsome Lord Toad. That's hot. Uh, yeah, let's look at this. Uh, non-aggression pact? Awesome. That's good enough for me. Uh, Zlanhoa Peck? Oof. This is a, uh, Crux, or not Crux, or a Saurus. Ooh, they want trade? Oh, yes! Man, I guess I should, maybe I'll change that. I actually get some more trade. That'd be nice. Um, and then New what? World Colonies. They like us, so let's keep them liking us. Not aggression pack? Yes. yes. Trade agreement? Of course. Yes. And I don't want military access. I don't want your armies moving through my land, but yeah, that's good. I want to keep them as my friends. Um, then actually, I'm going to go here and get... Yes, I want to get more tradable resources so that we get more money from trade. Uh, Lord Mazda Mundi, what do we want more of? We want minus 20, 30 armor, 26 melee attack, that's good. That's also good, but that's good for later on, like, uh, spells. So we're going to go for the Curse of the Midnight Wind, get some debuffs on the enemy, and uh, we'll end our turn there. Alrighty. Free porters of Port Royal. Caribbean, right? Price the Caribbean reference? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, we got another. Okay, uh, we'll finish off Skeggy. Uh, this, see, the, this type of battle is a battle that'll auto resolve, so we'll just kind of auto resolve that. Easy win. And then we are going to raise that. Because we do not need it. And now we got 2,000 more gold in our treasury, which is awesome. Sadly, we can't move, but you know, you win and you lose. Uh, Ziggurat of Dawn, let's build some walls on you. I'm building, see, I'm building walls on these because these vampire, co the um, vampire coast faction right here, the Drowned, doesn't really like us at the moment. Also to the north is the Dark Elves, who also don't like us for, uh, at the moment. A very bad relations and I'm more worried about the vampire coast because they are literally 
a turn away from attacking the Ziggurat of Dawn, two turns away from attacking Monolith of the Fallen Gods, and this is the heartland of my empire at the moment. Well, this is my empire at the moment, so I kind of need them to be protected, like a lot. Um, we're going to get upgrade the gold so that we get 4,500 golds, more tradable resources and golden idols, recruitment costs lessened for, we don't, we can't uh, recruit Crocstores, Temple Guards, or Cold Ones, but it's there, and more rank for them, but uh, we're more in about the gold. We want as much ching as we can get at the moment. Alright, um, and then, okay, we can get a second level of Curse of the Midnight Wind, and then we're going to end our turn. Okay, we got a population surplus in our province. That's awesome. Ooh, looks like the 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 drowned and the Sil Sildurator are at war, which is awesome. Those are the two factions I just showed you up north, with them at war with each other. That's very good for me. Uh oh, looks like Zlan Lepek and oh, Lax. Okay, we can. Okay, so once it's complete. Ritual Prognostication, which is this one, so we need to get 350 plaques, we have 35, so we have quite a ways to go. But we also have this place that has a building that produces plaques, which is awesome. Uh, I'm going to actually upgrade the Ziggurat of Dawn because it is closer to our enemies by proxy of the ocean. Then we're going to move Mazdamundi, start moving him to Shotex Causeway. Ooh. I did not notice that they had taken the Fallen Gates, which is not good, because that means we're going to have to go to war with these guys. Actually, hopefully the Skaven come back and take that, because I I'm our, I don't give a shit about taking uh, on the Skaven, but taking on the, the Dark Elves is not something I want to do at the moment. I know they hate me, but if I go against them, then, well, this entire area is just a bunch of Dark Elves, pretty much. I mean, there's like, uh, I think Tomb Kings right here. There's a Skaven, I believe, in this area, but most of it is Dark Elves, so starting wars with them is not something I want to do, especially when I'm just working with this little area right here, and I don't have many allies. Uh, speaking of allies, let's see if anyone else wants to get any friendlier with me. No? No? Uh, let's check with our New World uh, colonies. Uh... I will have a defensive alliance. Yes. Nice. Alright, that's actually awesome. Because that means that they will defend me if I'm attacked. And I, yes, kind of have to quote-unquote defend them. I really just have to join in the war. I don't have to send any armies. Although if I'm not, I'm going to do it. Just because for the sake of me role-playing as this kingdom. Um, but it feels really nice. Now we don't need to worry about anyone to our east. Now we're going to go north. We're worrying about people to our north. We don't need to worry about the west because the west is just, I believe it's ruins. I don't think there's any Skaven there. We haven't seen any. All right, they want us to join more with these orcs, which I'm all right with because they're nowhere near coming up here. There's nowhere near coming up this way. I mean, they have to come through all this. And if they really want to get to us, they'd either have to take them out or come up through this little causeway. But that's just too much work. And then they'd have to go up against our capital city, which... I'll show you in a moment when this is over why that's not a good idea for any nation at this moment in time to go up against their capital city. All nations are pretty weak in the moment, and this is our garrison. Yeah. Hexawaddle is not follow, fall, falling very easily anytime soon. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to actually build this. Now, this is a special building for the Lizardmen, the Geomantic Pylon. And what it allows you to do is when you build this fourth, fifth, basically every, only big capital cities can do this, capital province cities. And what it does is it will enhance these, so this will turn from red to yellow to green. Ye wait, yellow, orange, light green, dark green. Um... So it's really good to get because there's really nice buffs. So you want to build those in all of your capital cities and upgrade them all the way. So because if I'll because of this screen, now you can see we don't have one built, so it's red and it's attaching to other capital cities which are not built, so they just die off. That because we don't know what they are. But as we build it up, it will change color and it will blink if there's nothing connect to. But then as you 
upgrade things to connect to it, they will grow and you'll become more powerful. So it's a really cool, it's a really cool um, thing. All right, let's get back into the capital. Can't quite yet. We can recruit these guys next turn. Right now we have insufficient funds. That's all right. I'm glad the New World Colonies have some good armies up. Hopefully they go and take Skeggy. That would be ideal. Um, because I really don't want it, nor do I need it. I mean, I like having the New World Colonies as kind of like a buffer. Maybe later on I can just crush them, or we can get a military access where I could just go through them, and they'll be kind of like a little vassal in my state. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Table of crap. All right, we're good with that com uh, technology. Um, I think I want to hold off for building and actually start upgrading my army. So we're going to get rid of actually not all of these source warriors. We're going to get rid of the ones that are not ranked. So you can see these little ranks. This is their experience. The higher the experience, the more powerful they are. They like These normal guys could become more powerful than these guys just by ranks. Um, so we don't want to get rid of them. But we do want to get some shielded ones. So this is the problem with the Lizardmen is they're... Units are very elite and very strong, but they're super, super expensive. I mean, these guys are 200 gold just for upkeep. They're, I believe, yeah, they're they're 800 gold to purchase, so they're super expensive. We can get some Pterodon Riders with Bolas, which I think I'm going to do. One, because it gives us a height advantage on a lot of factions. Two, they're pretty low upkeep. So I think I'm going to get both of them into my army just to also bolster them up and it gives us an edge on the rest of our guys. Uh, I think I want to income. I'm going to finish this treat, this line, and then we're going to go down to the sources because that is very nice to have stronger sources because like you've kind of probably noticed already, they do make up the bulk of our army. Right, we'll let that go so we'll probably okay they took skeggy that's awesome because i really yeah i had no interest in taking skeggy awesome we'll do business okay um i right, will upgrade our cruxagore labor district all right we'll get that and then i think this army is decent enough that we can start moving it up this way all right, we're going to just uh, garrison. Can we actually recruit any lords? No, not lords, heroes. No. Okay. They're moving away from the orcs though because that means the orcs will have a clear path to me which is not something that i want um okay these are all buildings that give you heroes Ooh, plus seven plaques though that's really nice right, so we're pull it to pack okay i'm on my way there so actually i'm probably gonna go bang bang and then hopefully force the skaven up i want to build some of these but I'm not able to. I gotta start saving up my gold. So I guess we'll just kind of go straight into it. Search that. Okay, they have a really weak army, so we are going to declare war on the Skaven. Yes, declare war. Okay, so you can see the Skaven. It looks completely like ruins, but guess what? It isn't. All right. What do they have? These guys will be kind of trouble. Other than that, they're really weak. That's kind of the deal with the Skaven. The Skaven are super weak infantry wise. In most aspects, they're really their their kicker and why they're um, how they win is they with numbers. They have more numbers and the cheapest units in the game. Some of the cheapest units and in infantry units in the game, so they can just swarm you. 
and their units are very 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 susceptible to rout so to leave battle but they almost always will come back five six seven times because they leave after only losing like five ten members but then they come back so they easily will kind of overwhelm you and surround you which really sucks please tell me we get more yes thank the lord Ooh, 20 that's a great improvement okay and they also have much better ranged capabilities than our units i'm gonna have these two over here the temple guard can kind of fend for themselves um, we're gonna take a position kind of on this ridge there we go we're gonna have our stinks up above a little bit elevated so they can kind of rain down fire actually I want to have my skinks over here to kind of fire over there. Like I said, weak infantry, so I'm not feeling too bad about them going up against Skaven. We'll have him up there so that he can fire over the heads of my guys. We'll have Mazdamundi here, and then we'll have our Pterodon Riders way out here. Alright, let's group some stuff up. Alrighty, uh, let's start to battle. Are they gonna come for us? It's, this is the question. Yes, they are. Awesome. Means I don't need to. Where do they not have any ranged? Over here. All right, we're gonna hit them with some flame bolas. Let's take a look at these guys. These pterodon riders, literally just skinks riding pterodactyls. If you can see, but let's pause so you can see them better. Look at that. That's pretty badass. Just skinks riding pterodactyls. It's kind of badass. Alright, and I'll kind of show you guys how they kind of work. So we get these fire bolas, fire them, and just bam. And look at that. Not the greatest damage, but it does, it's just, you know, get some extra damage in there, which is really what you want. Okay, that's another thing about the Skaven. They can get units to spawn behind, but they spawn behind to get our this guy, but this guy is really strong. So we're just gonna get him to shoot on these guys. Make sure they don't keep coming back and hitting us in the back of the head. These guys firing at these guys and these guys firing at these boys. All right, they're coming in. Looks like they're kinda gonna just meet up with us, even though I have far more infantrymen which is good for me because like i've said my infantry are far superior to theirs charge, 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 charge. they're gonna crash into the back of mine and i do not want them to crash into the back of my guys run faster run faster there we go See, look at these are storm verbin. Oh, clan rat spears. These are like their mid ranged infantry, and they are just falling apart to my uh, charge, 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 charge. You know, my cheap skin cohort is going to probably go one for one with these guys, I would imagine. Most likely. All right, they spawn another clam rats here which is not something i want so we're going to send my astilodon in there to take that out come after these guys actually one of you go after him one the other one go after these boys all right you charge these guys see and also the problem is that the skaven very very fast most lizardmen, the skinks are really the fastest thing the lizardmen have. Everything else is really, really slow. Like these sauruses, really slow. Let's watch these guys come in from behind. I know that's gonna 
open them up to missile fire, but it will also surround the guys, so I think it's worth it. Just because it will... Alright, we're gonna send these guys over and around like this. The solar engine, I want you guys to fire on these guys, right here. Mazda Mundi, I want you to do it right here. I really want to break down one side first. Oh, cold blood. Let's get these guys back in uh, control. Both sides are falling apart now on the uh, Skaven side, which is really good. Now these guys are stupid because they're really weak and they're coming after Mazda Mundi, who yes is a wizard, but is also still pretty damn strong. Where's my skanks at? Oh, they are running off because they got shot to death. Like I said, very fast. So chasing after Skaven, not the most fun. I actually, where is their leader? Oh, he's right here. And he's running, which is never good for Skaven. So it means that the rest will follow pretty quickly. What I can do, though, is get... But they do also come back. So we're going to send my, my big guys here. Form up my armies again. Kinda. Form back up. Ooh, that's gonna hurt, but I really just want them to hit the. Oh, I can't have this. No. Run, 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 run. I don't wanna lose these guys. I don't care about losing the skinks, but I can't lose the other guys. I just can't. Uh, let's give some help to these guys. We'll get these guys right here. Get up here. Right here on these dudes. Retreat, retreat. Like I said, right there I messed up and I overextended. And I'm probably going to lose this unit right here because I can't pull them back. But I overextended there because... Uh, like I said, they come back over and over and over again. Which is just no fun. We must have any, oh, we don't have enough magic. That makes sense. Like I said, we're gonna still win this, but we're gonna lose more warriors than we should have, is basically what it comes down to. We should have lost a lot less. All right, we'll send these guys in. Uh, these guys form up right here. Where is their... Oh, he's way back there. You see, the problem is that he's a mage, so we can't really do anything about him. Except for this. Fire solar engine at him. Alright, we're gonna send... Okay, looks like they're all leaving. Yes, we won. <sighs> like I said, I hate... Well, I don't think I said this, but I hate, hate, hate the Skaven. With a burning, burning passion. I hate them, because they... It, they're not... At least in the beginning, I hate them so much, because they're not difficult or hard to beat. They're just annoying to beat, because... The hardest thing about him, especially is playing as the Lizardman, is catching them. And you hate losing, you know, 576 soldiers because you can't catch your enemy. Uh, we're going to occupy this. Okay. And then we'll probably... 
We'll get the mirror pool of Tepak, and then we'll probably end this. Ooh, actually, let's get Roiling Skies. That's really nice. Really nice. Or maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, here we're going to upgrade our, either upgrade our harbor or to get one of these more uh, mm, cold ones would be nice. These guys would be nice too because then we could eventually get Croxagores. Mm, the decisions, decisions. You know what? At this moment, I need things to defend myself. Ooh, but this, nope, never mind. We're getting this because I always have a thing, get the special buildings. And this is a pretty nice one. Plus 10 untainted, crew rank plus 1 for all units, and plus 200 uh, unit experience per turn in armies in this province. That's really nice. Anything else we can build at the capital? Nope. Why does it say then I can build stuff? Oh, because I can build that. But I'm not going to because it's only a 3. It only has 3 upgrades. Um, so it will be kind of useless for me. Alrighty. I really want them to lose that. I really hope the Skaven like take that, but by the looks of things, it's not gonna happen. So must be made for the lost flags of Chotek, Savage Lord. Right. Plus ten, plus ten, right of ferocity. Is that this one? Okay, so these are rights, real quick. These are rights. So with a certain amount of time. Uh, gold, you have to have certain requirements gold, and you have to have a certain amount of gold for some of them. You can get with this one, you get a slam mage priest as a um, hero. This one you get an army of feral carnosaurs. You you get an army of dinosaurs, basically, with an ability of spawning uh, velociraptors. You get an army of basically T-Rexes, uh, Triceratops, and the Bastildon that we've been have, using. This one causes attrition to enemy armies within your territory, and it increases my ambush success chance. And then this one gives more unit, plus 80 unit experience per turn, plus 2 rank for all recruited units, income from post battle loot plus 25%, and local recruitment capacity plus 1, which is really nice. Um, we're going to upgrade our gold mines again, because that's what we do here. Get the gold, because we're really expensive armies. Uh, and with that, I think we're going to end this episode. So next episode, we will, I promise, we will finish taking this province and either that will decide if we can quickly make peace with these guys. We'll decide whether we kind of have to stay up here for a bit, make, maybe make another army. But next episode, we'll definitely finish taking the Forest of the Viper. And then we'll probably come down to the coast of Squalls, take this and then move down to the down here and start taking out the enemies to the south that'll probably be two episodes from now when we get down here but next episode we will definitely finish taking this province up here our little buffer northern province um so if you enjoyed this episode please leave a like on the video um please leave a comment too it always helps and subscribe also if you wish uh i would love it if you shared this on your social media my youtube channel or this ep episode and if you haven't seen it go see episode one to kind of get how we got these three and also watch the you welcome to my channel so thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a fantastic evening and a great two days until i upload next on saturday which will be episode one of our anthem playbook so adios.